This is chapter 5, programming exercise 14. Compute the greatest common divisor. Find the greatest common divisor of two integers n1 and n2. First, find the d to be the minimum of n1 and n2. Then check whether d, d minus 1, d minus 2, all the way to 2 or 1 is the divisor for both n1 and n2 in this order. The first such common divisor is the greatest common divisor for both n1 and n2. Where the program that prompts the user to enter positive integers and display the greatest common divisor. So what is greatest common divisor and how do we solve it? Let's uh, get a visual example of what was explained earlier on how to solve it, right? So let's say we have uh, n1 for number 1 equals 100 and n2 or number 2 equals 75. How do we find the greatest common divisor of 175? Well, greatest common divisor simply means what is the largest possible number that I could, could use that could go into both 75 and 100. So to tackle that through programming, what we're going to do is grab the smallest of the two numbers and set that as our d, as our minimum, right? Where d is the minimum of n1 and n2. Then we take 75 and we divide it into number 1 and number 2 and see if that goes in or evenly divide number 1 and number 2. If it doesn't, then we decrease the number by 1 and try again and keep doing this until we find the largest possible number that could go into both 100 and 75. So in this case, our GCD for 175 will be 25, because 25 is the largest possible number that could go, that could divide into 175 evenly. All right, so let's try to tackle this in our exercise. So we're going to be asking the user to enter two numbers. So let's just call it byte number one, number two, and have another one call our GCD. And we're gonna ask the user, enter two numbers, and of course, store that into number one equals input dot next byte, and number two equals input dot next All right, so after we all we got that, we will have the, the input stored into number one and number two. Now, we have to find the small of the two numbers, so we just do a simple check. Let's say if number one is greater than number two, therefore number two is the smallest of the two numbers, and that's what we're going to grab. We'll just say GCD equals number two. Else, that means uh, number one is the smaller of the two numbers. Okay, so after we got that, um, we're going to uh, use that number to simply find our GCD. So we're going to do our logic inside a while loop. Let me just press enter so I could put it right here. And we'll just do a check. We'll say as long as number one, if you modify the GCD, and if it equals zero, and number two, if you modify GCD equals zero, then you basically have your um, GCD. And if you don't, decrement it by one and keep trying. But there's a little bit of a logical error right here. Right here means both have to be true for this to run. Now the thing is, if we're starting at 100, let's say num1, right, equals 100 and num2 equals 75. Yeah, GCD will go into, and at the moment GCD equals 75, and GCD would definitely go into num2, but not num1. 
So this right here will always return false, but we always but it will not return. It will only return true when GCD uh, evenly goes into both numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the uh, the boolean value of this. This is always going to return false, and if that's the case, use a not. A not will flip this false to be a true and then get it to run. And once GCD becomes a number that could go into both of these value, that's when it'll jump out of this while loop. So let's take a look. So it'll be GCD for number one. Number two is GCD. All right, so let's run that. I'm going to put 175 for the test case, and bam. Now we got 175. GCD for 175 is 25. So if you don't, so if your logic right here in the while loop was incorrect, then you're gonna get errors. You're gonna get it's not going to run at all. So you can always so that's the trick uh, with using your while loop. You have to make sure it's running correctly. Sometime when you know that you put it in, the logic's correct. It's just and it's still not running as expected. Take a closer look and. It, uh, you may have ignored an issue that that was hard to catch. All right. Now let's run it one more time. Let's flip it around. Let's say let's just do 80 and 120. 80 and 120. GCD largest possible number that go into both 80 and 120 is a 40. All right. And how about uh, 90 and 125? So that largest possible value is five to go into both 90 and 125. So that is our GCD exercise.